Charterman, Charterman, Brian. Charterman, 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 Brian. Three car mix, twins are hella sick, hella whackin' it. Take a bad hit, take a bad hit. She does have booty. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Marvel Legends Walgreens exclusive Fantastic Four's thing. I gotta give a big thanks to Xmany87 for letting me borrow his figure to review for you guys. I do not own one at the moment. I will soon enough, hopefully. But thank you so much, Manny, for letting me borrow this. If you want to check out his Instagram, I highly recommend it. He's awesome at the articulated comic book art. Really killing it with those photos. So check out his IG. Link in the description below. Make sure you give him a follow. Anyway, we get this awesome packaging. Uh, you can see that we have the spot varnished four right over there on the top, just like how we'd gotten with the other Fantastic Four figures. And then you can see a nice image of the thing right there on the side. I really dig that. And then you can see a nice product shot over here. There's a read up. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it now. Then we have thing again on this side. Then I wanted to bust out the packaging for my previous Fantastic Four figures because I have kept the packaging for all of them. So yeah, there you go. You can see we first got Invisible Woman, then Johnny Storm right over there, then Mr. Fantastic, and now we have the thing. So I'm very excited to open this thing. So let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's the thing out of the packaging and this figure is spectacular, man. I am very, very happy with how this figure came out. I'm very impressed. I think they've done a better job than Toy Biz on the previous Thing figures. I mean, I gotta just say, just my personal opinion, even though other people have said this, I think this is the best Marvel Legends Thing figure that is out there. Probably the very best Thing figure, period. But yeah, I am very pleased with the sculpted details on this. We get some great paint apps, and they gave us cool accessories too. Much needed accessories, anyway. So let's get a closer look at those accessories, and then we'll get a closer look at Ben Grimm. So these are the accessories that we get with the Thing figure. We'll get a closer look at these interchangeable heads later on. I first want to look at these hands. You can see that we get two wide open hands and two fisted hands, and I think the hands came out looking at absolutely fantastic. I am very pleased with these, mostly because that we have joints right here that have the sculpted in rock. And I remember that was a big deal for Jesse Falcon. Uh, he had told me how difficult it was to get the factories to get sculpted rock in the hinges. He was specifically referring to the House of M thing figure. And yeah, they, they've done it again here with this Hasbro factory and I am very impressed. That is very cool. Now we're not seeing the same kind of paint detail for the rest of the hand on the hinge, but still, I'm very pleased with that. That is great. It does stop right there, but eh, I'm still really happy with that. And I love seeing this wash right here in the rocks. It just looks really good. I'm just very impressed through and through. Here's the other hand, so you can see how good that looks. And looking at the knuckles right here, that is awesome. Ah, I'm so stoked about that. That is just spectacular. Very, very pleased. So here's looking at the first of the two head sculpts, and one gripe of mine is I would like to have a smiling thing head sculpt, but I'm still happy to have these two right here. I feel like that's kind of a picky gripe, but oh my goodness, I think that's such a good head sculpt for Ben Grimm. You can see the nice blue paint right there for his eyes. Of course, they nailed that. That is awesome. He has that huge underbite right there, huge lower jaw. And I just love how the rocks came out on this throughout the whole figure. You have all kinds of different cracks, you know? These big old cracks right here. We even have some thinner cracks throughout, too. Ah, that looks so cool, man. Uh, the brow looks really good right there. Awesome. I'm very pleased with that. And here's looking at the second head sculpt, and this looks great, too. I don't know which one I prefer. I really like them both a lot. Maybe the angrier one a little bit more. You can see the big old underbite right there. Wow. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with this one. I think this one's my preference out of the two. I feel like I'm seeing more details in this one. That is sick though, right? Oh, jeez, dude. No, I'm very, very, I love details, and yeah, this figure is just loaded with details. And then I'm trying to get a look at the neck right here, and it looks like we're not, oh yeah, they did sculpt some rock details in the neck joint too. Yes, that is very cool. But looking at the rest of the figure, man, I, I mean, we're just seeing all kinds of details throughout. Just, again, just all these different shapes and everything. I just love how it just looks like nothing is being repeated, you know? It's not like we're getting any kind of dorky repeated patterns or anything. It just looks all original just throughout. I wonder if this was hand sculpted. I don't know. But I'm very curious to, to see what kind of work went into the sculpting. It could have just all been done on a computer for all I know. But I don't know. For some reason, I kind of have a feeling this was done by hand. I, I just don't know. But man, I'm very impressed with that. Look at that. That is great. Yeah. 
Come on, dude. And then looking right there. Yep, in the joints again. We already looked at the hands. I like how the torso looks. You know, you can still see his pecs and everything. That's really cool. It still looks like he kind of has abs right there, but they didn't try to make him too even or anything, make it look all stupid or anything. That just looks beautiful. That is great. Now these different shapes of the rocks right here. They're, they're all so unique. It just blows my mind. So as I move the joint, you can see some more details in there. I'm geeking out like crazy, dude. I, I'm I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry if this is annoying because I feel like I kind of get annoyed at myself a little bit. You know, the more I gush over a figure, but damn, this is awesome. <laughs> this is just really, really badass. Anyway, nice looking shorts right over there. Uh, for comparison to a Mr. Fantastic arm, you can see a uh, fairly consistent blue color. Nice little wrinkles and everything. I mean, shouldn't it be shaped out kind of like rocks, but in the comics are drawn like this. So, yeah, I like having the smoother wrinkles and all that. Looking at the legs, looks really good. And then looking at the back of the legs, you can see some more rocky joints. Oh, and he does have the rock showing through the butt. So, yeah, you can see some rock right over there. Very, very rocky butt cheeks for the thing. You can even see the fabric stretching across. That's great. And then at the front of the knee joint, yep, that's painted out very well, too. Ah, man, this is just beautiful. Look at those thing toes. Of course, he has four toes and four fingers, and he still has peg holes at the bottom of his feet right here. This is magnificent. Freaking amazing, man. It looks like the ankle joint right here got the least amount of treatment for a sculpted detail, but I'm not really that upset about it, dude. I really like the articulation for this figure, but I do have one gripe. Uh, first off, you can get the head to move up only a little bit. It's tricky to get that head moving up, but uh, he'll look up just that much, which, yeah, that works. And then you can move the head downward, too. You also get side-to-side -side movement and just the tiniest bit of head pivoting, not a whole lot. Shoulder joints move outward that far. You can move them down that much and rotate 360. No bicep swivel, and that's my complaint with articulation. I would like to have a bicep swivel right there. And uh, We also get a single-jointed elbow that does bend at 90 degrees, which is good. We also get a swivel at the elbow. And then all four hands turn side-to-side -side and hinge up and down. We get a good diaphragm joint right here that turns side to side. Good diaphragm pivot, crunches forward quite a bit and back some. We also get a nice waist swivel right here. Then the hip joints move outward very far. He'll kick forward that much, uh, not back so much. Upper thigh cut right there. Double jointed knees. Then the ankles move down. Uh, they don't move up that much and he does have beautiful ankle pivot. Now to measure out this thing figure, you can see that it is standing at about seven and a half inches tall. Then here's our new Walgreens thing figure next to the Toy Biz Series 2 thing that came with the trench coat and glasses and hat and this guy right here has been my favorite thing figure but yep this is going to take the place of it or actually I think I've liked the Marvel Select one a little bit more than this one but yeah I like how this newer figure stands just a little bit taller and then of course here's our new thing figure with the trench coat glasses and hat from the series 2 version right there and this actually fits on here very well I like this a lot this looks awesome I'm, I'm glad that this works out man this is great uh, one problem is that the glasses are kind of tricky to get on there I try to aim for this whole brow instead of the actual eyes and nose so if you get it just a little bit higher like that it'll stay on there and just plop the cap or plot the fedora on there and that looks really good that is pretty damn awesome I'm stoked about that and then here's a new Walgreens thing figure next to a couple other thing figures from Marvel Legends you can see the Hasbro two-pack or the Ronin build a figure wave thing figure right here and they did have some sculpted in rock into the joints right there so it's not a brand new thing for Hasbro to do this and then we have our Fantastic Four movie I believe this is the wave one version of the thing figure and this does not have the sculpted detail in the joints and then here's a new thing figure next to one of my favorite thing figures we have the Marvel Select thing, and yeah, the proportions are very, very wacky, but I don't know. Uh, I kind of still like this figure a lot. Thing party, yeah! It's, it's clobber time. 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 time! It's clobber time! It's clobber time! It's clobber time! It's clobber time! And then here's this thing figure next to a couple of very important Hulk figures. We have the face-off two-pack Hulk from Toy Biz, which I think is the best Marvel Legends Hulk figure out there. And then we have the Hasbro three-pack Hulk figure, which is my favorite comic Hasbro Hulk figure. And I did pose these two together a lot, so check out the photo gallery at the end. And I saved this one just because, I don't know, I'll wait till I get my own thing to pose him with this one. I know, I'm weird. But anyway, this thing figure scales very well with these two right here. I like that a lot. I think that's perfect scaling. And finally, we have a complete set of Marvel's first family. We have the Human Torch, Invisible Woman, our new thing figure, and Mr. Fantastic. And this is hands down the best set of the Fantastic Four from Marvel Legends ever, I gotta say. Anyway, that's my personal opinion. I absolutely love all four of these figures. I think they are absolutely fantastic. 
fantastic. Yeah, there's gripes here and there, you know, I kind of wish the Human Torch had matched the rest of the body and stuff and little things, but really, I am very, very happy that all four of these just exist. And then here's the Thing figure next to your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. So I know you have a blind girlfriend because you're hideous to look at. I mean, who else would date you, right? But a blind chick? But then she can feel you too. Who wants to feel how ugly you are? <laughs> it's Robert time. I gotta give you guys a big thanks for watching my video. I really do appreciate it as well as when you guys hit that like button, leave your comments down below and please hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell if you have not already. And I also gotta thank again xmany 87 for letting me borrow this figure as well as the series two thing figure with the trench coat. I really appreciate it brother. Please check out his IG link in the description below. And this figure right here is just so spectacular. I, I can't wait to have my own. I love having him on one foot. He balances very well. I think that is just absolutely fantastic how that works out just the weight and the proportions of the figure just make it very easy to get him on one foot so I'm really happy with the posability I love the way the figure looks I'm just pleased all around with this figure if you could not tell already thus it is getting a sun rating of <laughs> And again, I'd like to know what you think. Please go ahead and leave your comments down below. I know this isn't really hitting the US right now at the moment. It should soon, hopefully. I don't know. We saw how long that Silver Surfer took. That's why I had to go ahead and try to borrow this out here. So again, I'm very grateful for it. Thank you again, Xmany87. If you'd like to see a photo gallery of images, it should be over at MarvelousNews.com and ShardmasPrime.net. And don't forget to follow me on the Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. Links to everything in the description below. I'll catch you guys later. Peace! Short Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.